Hi guys. I just need to look up this article about Maker Studios. As some of you know, I am partnered with Maker Gen, which is sort of a branch of Maker Studios for the smaller YouTubers, such as myself. I don't even know where to go. A lot of articles about Maker right now. A lot of you probably know that Maker Studios dumped PewDiePie because he made some anti-Semitic comments. No, no. That's going to get taken out of context, and that's one of the big things about the story. Okay, so PewDiePie made some Hitler jokes, right? And he had made some Nazi jokes. And they were taken out of context because what he was actually talking about was something completely different than the actual Holocaust. It was something completely different. He was making a joke. It was sort of a reference to something else. It was taken out of context. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Disney dumped him. Maker Studios dumped him, right? I guess they did what they had to do. Now I'm reading not only was PewDiePie dumped, but most of the creators in the Maker Studios network are to be dumped. Their contracts will not be renewed. Guess who that affects? I'm one of them because I am not one of the top 300 creators in the network. There are probably close to 60,000 creators in the Maker Studios network. They are going to slash that number down to 300. S sorry, stars, don't fall. To 300 of the brightest creators in the Maker Studios network. I'm pretty sure I'm not on that list. My channel is very small. I'm not even at 3,000 subscribers yet, so I'm probably not going to make the cut. And I know my content is not provocative enough to really entertain people in the way that the likes of PewDiePie and Markiplier. I know. I know. So I'm not going to make the cut. What does this mean? Well, I don't even know yet. And the reason why I don't know is because Maker hasn't told us anything yet. We're finding this out. Let me just let me just look it up right now. I found this out from Social Blade. I was trying to check my stats. Here's the thing. When I go on Social Blade, I've been aggravated anyway because YouTube had a glitch that really screwed up our view counts and our subscriber counts and view time. Everything was all messed up. It's still messed up. So already I was aggravated. And then I'm scrolling around and I see, wait a minute, you know what? I need to record this for you guys so you can enjoy discovering what I discovered and how I discovered it. Let me get my screen capture device lined up here. Because I, 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 I think you, I think to get the full picture, the full aggravation, <laughs> you know, you got to see the whole thing. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do this real time. All right, here we go. I believe I am recording. Okay, I go to Social Blade. Here I am on Social Blade. Already my grade dropped. It had been a C plus. No big deal. I'll get over it. <laughs> but it's because, but it's because of the YouTube glitch. It seems like, it seemed like something, whenever that all happened, everything went downhill. Okay, so let's scroll down. This last 30 days total doesn't jive with what's actually happening here. If you do the math, it doesn't add up. Already upset. Scroll down. I'm letting that one go. Scroll down because I'm thinking it's okay. Maker's not going to punish me for this. I'm not going to get fired. <laughs> I'm not going to get fired because everybody knows it's the YouTube glitch, right? Then I scroll over here to the recent blog posts. Maker Studios to Shrink Creator Network. Oh, that looks interesting. Okay. Maker Studios to Shrink Creator Network. Drop 20,000 plus channels. What? Now it says that there's only 25,000 partners. From my understanding, there's closer to 60,000, maybe 55, something like that. But they're saying there's only 25,000 partners? All right, they want to focus on the cream of the crop. That's fantastic. So to do that, they're going to throw us away? I guess, at least that's what I'm hearing. They're also laying off their people 
in what they're calling a strategic adjustment. That's right. So MakerGen is their entry level network. And that's the one that I'm partnered with. I haven't heard a word from them. Nobody said anything. Wait a minute. There's been an update since. This was February 15th, the update. The upcoming layoffs have been confirmed. 80 employees are expected to be pink slipped. For them, it's got to be far worse than it is for the rest of us. And I'm very sorry about that. I do not know what Disney is doing. Do they understand the platform? I just, I don't get it. It's almost like they want to have a Disney channel on YouTube. And so they've taken over Maker and thrown away all the ones that don't fit that mold. Uh, here's the thing. I've been partnered with Maker for a long time. So I guess I don't even remember what it's like to not be partnered. Maybe it's not even a big deal. I had a friend of mine sort of warn me about MCNs and that I don't, I probably don't even really need an MCN. But I was happy with Maker and, and the biggest reason was because I like the music. I like to have access to the royalty free music of Epidemic Sound. It's got a huge library of every kind of music imaginable and it's so nice. So that will be missed. I could probably go ahead and subscribe to it on my own but it's going to cost me some money. That was a good perk. The other thing that I think is a perk, but I'm not even sure if it's still the same way anymore, is that when you upload a video, it's like automatically monetized. There's no waiting period for it to be monetized. In the past, I'd upload a video, monetize it, but it would take a while for them to actually monetize it. So I would get all the views that video was going to get, then it would go monetized, and then you don't make any money off of that not a big deal it's not like a primary source of income that was one of the perks with maker was it instantly was monetized if you had any problems with a copyright issue because of music or anything else you kind of got a little bit of help with that and now since it looks like a lot of us are getting dropped from the network i have to think am i going to look for another network or am i just going to go rogue <laughs> rogue Am I gonna go rogue? I need to have a drink on this. Because I hear from people, they'd rather go rogue. I think networks are good for some of us and then some of us, it's not really necessary. Like I said, my main reason was because I like the music. The music is a big part of my videos. <laughs> if you watch my videos, I probably, I probably got something playing right now that I've chosen from Epidemic Sound. Music is like, an integral part of my videos. I just like it in my everyday life. I like it in my videos. I want to have access to it. And I know that there's other MCNs out there that might even be better than Maker. They also have epidemic sound. So I'm kind of looking into that. I don't know if I'll get accepted into an MCN now. I was thinking about which ones might be good to apply for after this happens, after my contract is up with Maker. Oh gosh, let me go ahead and save this file so I don't forget what I'm doing. Anyway, this is just the behind the scenes. The behind the scenes going on at the StarCast 70 Studios. <laughs> That's right, I'm taking this seriously. This is my job. Oh my goodness. But what do you guys think? Should I even try to go with another network? Should I just go rogue, bite the bullet, and pay the subscription fee to Epidemic Sound so I can continue to use their great music? I might get a better cut if I just stay with AdSense, but I kind of like the perks and it's almost worth the money to me. I don't know. I always value any feedback, so any ideas, let me know. It's sad. It's not the most important thing in the world by any means, but I know it affects a lot of us who do this for a living, but it's just changed so much. I don't think we're really going to miss anything getting cut from them. I think ever since Disney acquired Maker, they haven't really been benefiting the smaller channels anyway. Unless I'm told otherwise, I'm going to assume that I'll be cut from the network. So I'm going to take my referral links down 
and I'm taking my branding off of the end of my video. I guess that's about it. Okay guys, thank you so much as always for your feedback and for watching, for subscribing. I hope you all are having a great day. You guys take care out there and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.